What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? We are live. We are live. I'm talking about BMF. This is the episode seven, which was called Get Them Home. This is the recap. I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm just getting on here to give y'all my thoughts of the episode. I wanted to know what y'all thought as well. I thought it was an okay episode, but um, it was certain parts that kind of annoyed me, but other than that, it was a good episode. Let me see who's here right now so far. Oh, I can't even. <laughs> Yeah, let me get it on my um. Hey Kelly, hey Suburbia Jones, hey Renee, hey hey Minga, Puff Girl, what's up? Hey Universal Goddess, Miss Michelle Wilder, Shoni. I need to get my reading glasses, y'all. <laughs> what's up, Queen? Hey Miss Nisi, RD, RD, Demarcus, Daria, Rashandria, what's up, y'all? So, you know, this ain't, Lewis episode was kind of all right, y'all. It was kind of okay. Um, I, it started off with a bang at that, where they, where we meet, where we meet Jay Pusher and his brother Card, Carter and, um, his, uh, who else? His neighbor. So that's just like somebody that was the homegirl that was next door that, you know, she's just down for whatever. She's one of the, you know, she's one of the guys, but she, you know, she's cute to me. I thought, I thought she was pretty. Um, yeah. So that was, it was, uh, Jay Pusher. And it was also Kia. So I like, I like their little introduction. However, once they started talking about him going to the pros and all of that, I was like, man, this looks like this is not going to be good. So, yeah. So, I, I was, like, feeling the kind of way about that as far as that goes. So, yeah. I I, I um I thought that was cra kind of crazy with that. And, um... Where as far as the the beginning, you know what? I still have a pet peeve with this, with how this started out. I like, you know, I like the little captions that it shows how he says St. Louis embraced me and showed me so so much love. St. Louis, you know, he he bigs up every town that he has gone to so far. But you know what pissed me off with this? How they went back in the day and showed Cap. Coach Bryant, Detective Bryant, we can't even call him the police no more because he's not the police no more. But this scene kind of pissed me off. This is what you should have been doing with your son, Kevin, so that way he didn't get jammed up like how he did. But anywho, that was the only, that was my little rant about that. Moving on. So I like, I like this cab. I like these characters so far. And, um, I think they're pretty cool. I do. I, I really do think they're cool. What did y'all think of the episode so far? Like, the episode in, in the whole. Hey, Inga. Hey, Tall Glass. What did y'all think of the episode so far in the whole? Because I had, like, my little... It reminded me so... uh Like, a little paid in full mixed with something else. So, <laughs> that's what I was getting with that. So... Yes. So, uh, so what about this uh, secret grand jury that they got for Meech? Do you think that's going to come to fruition? But he was saying that um, so far nothing happened because they was trying to get one. So I guess everybody stayed tight, didn't say anything, and did what Meech instructed him. So, yeah, I wanted to address that. And um, I said, like, you know, she gets kidnapped. He gets kidnapped. The um, Jay Pusher's Jay Pusher's brother gets kidnapped. I kind of was like, 
it happened real quick. Once you saw the part with the baseball, I just was like, oh, okay, this is crazy right now. Yeah, but I thought that was kind of crazy with that, that it happened so fast. It reminded me of paid in full with the whole Mitch and stuff like that. So yeah, I had I had so I had somewhat a problem with that. But it's like well, I know I'm gonna spend a lot of time with Charles and Lucille, and but I'm trying not to put my track shoes on tonight and get to it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm really trying not to do that. But Charles and Lucille, oh, oh Lord. Okay, that's better because now I'm down here in this corner. But um, I like the way Meech is, I mean, Terry is handling this right now because he's letting them know that cool heads will prevail. He want to make sure he don't lose no more people. He's tired of going to funerals. He's tired of going to them. And he's like, this is not the way. So I'm glad he's going to try to do a meet up with Blaze and try to attack this situation a smarter way. And he's using his head. He's using his head this time. So yeah, I like I, I like the fact that he did that. So, like I said, he's still pissed off that his his boy Jit. What's his name? What's his name? Jit. Yeah, I forgot. I, do y'all remember they got where are my, my notes is all jacked up y'all but i know that his friend that got blazed by by henrietta now we're gonna have to handle this so it's just like with this i want to see where this goes because if they pump they breaks they don't gotta get violent because jen and bryant will handle it because now they on them so, yeah. Terry kind of manned up this episode. Yes, he did when it came to business. Yes, he did. He did man up with this episode. What's up, Demarcus? Jay Pusham was moving and stepping on product. Yeah, that's, look, that's what got him kidnapped. But Jay Push is a hothead. And, and we see how that basically you see, we see how that cost his brother a finger. That was crazy to me. So we see how that that cost him that. But I like I said, y'all got me putting on my track shoes tonight because I'm reading the chat. But anywho, let me just stay focused on this. I'm glad that Meech talked him off a ledge because he was he was like out of control with this. Because he was ready to really go get at them. And he not even sure if he know if, if, these, if it's these people. But I believe he knew. He knew he gave them the messy product. So he knew something was coming. But, I, but for you to act like you're not going to handle this right. And come at them like this. And you know they got your brother. And I call him a golden goose. You kind of you kind of like wilding out right now. What did y'all think of this meet with Blaze and Terry? I thought he handled this very well, y'all. I thought he did his thing with this. He handled it very well. He, um, and, and like, uh, I forgot who said it, but you're right. He is, he was very mature this episode. Even as far as everything with his baby's mother, kind of. But I want him to show and prove with that, but we'll get to that. I wouldn't trust Jay Pusher to negotiate me out of a paper bag. Yeah, you know what? It's a good thing he got ten. He got nine fingers now, but you know it's a, it's a good thing they only took one. Okay. <laughs> Anywho, look, look, look at Charles' face when he go to get these flowers. He know darn well. That that Dr. Maurice Moncler done got him these flowers. And then it 
did he read the card, the filet McNum? And this will change my life. Can't wait to see you tomorrow night. Reese, he not even writing Doc. He writing his old school, high school name. Okay? <laughs> yeah, he's wild and he's bold. He's really bold. You mean to tell me you gonna write this and send this to the house after you know don't while that Chuck is still in the house? You know that Chuck is in the house and you carrying on like you the king of the castle and you ready to sweep this woman away. Get the F out of here. <laughs> Let me come back on screen. <laughs> So, look, I'm surprised his mama ain't smack him in the face the way she know he messed this up because she know, you know how you know your kid, you know your kid got a big mouth? She knows that he messed this up, Jay Pusher, where she like, you know what, you know, did all of this and now he's not back here because he like, I want them back at this part by blah, 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 Tom. Nah, he was like, no, this is not going down like this. These people sent the message, and this was crazy to me. This was crazy to me. I don't even know if I, I thought I loaded the picture up there, yeah. But yeah, that was bananas with that, uh, that whole message. They was like, we not playing, ah, ah, ah. And you know, they sent the finger, okay? Sent the whole finger, y'all. And then after all of this happens, Meech calms him down and he still tells him he's ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh. like I'm sending I'm sending pal pals for you. I mean what the heck was he thinking? Look, take another finger? I just don't understand. <laughs> what did y'all think about this scene? She's like, I get, yo, her father came to clean the apartment where all of this happened. And he said, "You so you decided to walk through the fire for her. Yeah, she, I think she is. She gonna go all out trying to get Henry now. And that's, that's, I'm all, I'm all for it. Totally for it. Hey, Tina. Meow. Lucille is going to regret falling for the doctor. I think so, too. But look, I, look, I got a whole, I know we're going to stay on that for a while. So maybe I, I'm going to just get through, let me just get there so we can stay there for a couple of sometime okay but um i believe she is gonna go back yo what did y'all think of this scene with um her and the mother i like the fact that he came there and i also like the fact that lucille is like standing up for her son and it was a civil conversation it was a little back and forth but it wasn't crazy so that that was good like that. I just hope he starts spending time with this kid because I never even, I, I can count how many times I've seen Terry carry that little boy and he act like he only had one baby, but he got this this minivan. So we're going to get to that with that, with, you know, that heifer later because she pissed me off this episode. Anywho. Look, she done got caught with Chuck's box cutter, yo. She done got caught and Breeze was trying to take up for her. What's up, booby traps? Hey, Tanetta. Okay. Hey, Sally. So, yeah, she, look, she got caught up with this, but he was going to take the rap for her. So, they got her at the precinct, the police station. She is so nosy. I don't even know why she got a key there. Because it's like, I don't even think he knew she was there. 
but she's just trying to be so nosy and put her way, wedge her way back into this relationship. And she finds out about this caravan that he, you know, bought her a minivan, a mommy car. But anywho, she's she just pissed me off this episode. She really got on my nerve because now this could really go sideways. I know I got a theory with that, and we're gonna address it tonight. Anywho. <laughs> So, um, yo, she's caught out there with this. And then they come up there. And now they finally get it with Nikki. They finally get it with Nicole. Y'all haven't talked to me. Look, he was up Mabel's behind last season. They didn't talk about it. Then they fight in this beginning of this season. They don't talk about it. Then they had the whole conversation at the dinner table where she tried to bring it out. They don't want to talk about it. Now if you bringing it up in the precinct, you really don't want her to talk about it. Get yourselves together, Chuck and Lucille. Talk to this girl. <laughs> yes, poor Nicole. She's traumatized and she needs therapy. But you know they ain't do that back then. Yeah, they wasn't really doing therapy like that. But I um I was like, I like the way this went with this meeting. So now we know that the captain is on the take because they go way back because he was a lieutenant colonel when he was in the police force blaze. So it's safe to say that. The captain's kind of dirty, too, or is he turning a blind eye? Put a hammer up if you think the captain's dirty and put the double, put the cross hammer up if you think he's just turning a blind eye. If you think he's down with the dirt, too, put the hammer up. I, my mother used to carry a nice, yeah, an ice pick. Like the like the Sharon Stone one, the eh, 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 that. <laughs> hey, all right. So y'all y'all thinking that he's he's down with the corruptness. He's down with the corruptness. All right, he is down with the corruptness. We got forty six people in the building. Please scroll up to the top. Cast your vote tonight's vote is. Let me get y'all to vote. Tonight's vote is, was Terry right or wrong about putting Meech, about Meech putting his nose in other people's business? Put it, put the, uh, put y'all vote in and then we'll close it out at the end, okay? Anywho, moving on. So, yeah, I, I, I'm liking the fact that this is going on. I like the way Terry negotiated this whole deal. He's doing it the smart way. This is something that his brother would have done. So he is, he, he actually taking heed to a lot of what Meech is saying. But do y'all think he's wrong for him saying you always sticking your nose in somebody's business when he makes that call to get the, uh, you know, the uh, product? So he could try to save this kid. Cause I don't, I mean, I kind of feel that, but I feel like what, what Meech did was, was good for the simple fact is that, how can I say it? I think what he did was good for the simple fact is that now he's going to have a good relationship with, with, uh, He's going to have a good relationship with him. And once he has this good relationship with Jay Pusher, he's going, they're going to be able to, they're going to be able to get, lock this whole city down, lock down St. Louis. So that's like, I believe they're going to press on and go forward too, because you know how everything goes. And I know my people from Detroit know the real deal, right? Anywho, uh, Y'all got to stop with the therapy mess. Even in 2024, Nikki wouldn't be able to go to therapy. Exactly. That's why I I, I know I want I don't want to keep bringing today's times into this series cuz it's a period piece. My bad. You're right. So let me just 
get that out of there, right? But we do have a habit of doing that because they're doing it. Because there's no way that that character, Henry, would look the way she look. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, but when, but when Meech is in other people's business, he's always helping. Exactly. He Look, he stopped the, to me, he stopped the war right there. Because he was getting ready to go drop some bodies. Yeah, he definitely was getting ready to go drop some bodies. But um, what y'all think of it of, of Kia? I like her. I like her, her spunk. And she's smart too. I like her. What did y'all think of her? Do y'all think she she and she look like she down the down for whatever? So I like her for I like her for him. I like her much better than Angel. Because you know everybody done been up in that. But anywho. Mooch, is it possible to rephrase the poll question? Like maybe use, oh yeah, I wrote. Oh well, I I just figured it'd be a yes or no. So I, oh yeah, I could change it. Hold on, let me get to it. I'm gonna close this one out and add another one. So disregard this, okay? I'm gonna end that. All right, and I'm gonna start another poll. All right. Okay, so. So it's was Terry right? To tell Meech to mind his business. All right. There you go. So that's the poll. Okay, so moving on. Let me get back on point, y'all. Mama says she ain't here. Nikki can't be honest in therapy and asking kids not to lie. Yeah. So you, I mean, it's got, she got to have somebody she could talk to when she's trying to talk to her parents and they need to sit down and listen and stop trying to take Chase tail because they both chasing tail at this point. Charles Chase chasing Lucille tail and Lucille chasing Dr. Maurice Montclair. Anywho, moving on. <laughs> She has some nerve to come to this woman's house. Even though it was tasteful, because she right, she going to need them coats to warm up on them lonely nights when he be all laying up with you. And you don't even need to be doing this. You wasting your time because he's still, he going to be playing ping pong with y'all two, going back and forth, back and forth, back, back and forth and forth, back, back and forth and forth. All right? <laughs> Yo, I thought Meech was smart with this Stirl always comes through But this, I thought Meech was smart with this Because he act like a baseball player And they see the car They probably really do think he played for like some team Because of the car So that was smart <laughs> She's a skank, y'all. She a gold digging skank. Let me come back on screen. Yeah, she's a gold digging stank skank, y'all. She gonna take Vince number 
and you know now she's gonna do some dumb stuff just because he bought his his baby mother a van you kidding me you got the house girl she's still staying with her mama and you showing up there because she's not at that apartment like she's supposed to be she wasn't even supposed to be in there and she in that apartment like she lived there and he's supposed to be having this place for the baby terry's a sucker yo he is i can't stand with he how he treating this girl because you putting this woman on the pedestal and you treating your baby mother like dirt just like garbage yo anywho Yeah, that's crazy to me. Markeisha didn't send C CPS to Desiree Luanda's mother's house because Markeisha didn't know. How? She just showed up at the house. So you mean to tell me she, she, she said, how you know where I live? So you mean to tell me by her showing up there unannounced? And Terry don't know nothing about this. That she didn't send CPS? I'm standing 10 toes on this, Demarcus. She sent CPS there because look at how she rolled up to this house like this. What's up, booby? Nicole definitely about to start getting more. Yeah. She, especially now. Cause she took the birth control now let me ask y'all this because she took that birth control do you think she gonna let breeze smash put a ham up if you think she gonna let breeze smash i shouldn't say that but that's gonna be her first encounter and he seemed like he really like her so i'm kind of leaning towards it might happen y'all and she taking birth control. So that probably going to even give her the incentive to do it more. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait, let me see. I didn't see. I missed it. You know that didn't really happen because LaWanda would have dragged her in real life. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That was too. LaWanda and the mother would have dragged her because the mother looked like she got some street in her too where she'll put some pants and feet on her too. Okay? <laughs> yeah, she be putting all the paws on her. That's the dude from Sisters. What up, Vaughn? <laughs> That's the only person who would listen to her, Breeze. Yeah, so she's going to tell Breeze everything. And all you need is a shoulder to cry on. That's what she's going to have, okay? <laughs> I have a strong feeling, Marquisha, since CP. I'm telling you, I'm Steve, I'm telling you, like I said a couple of minutes ago, Demarcus, I stand 10 toes on it, okay? Ten toes, and y'all all putting up the hammers where y'all think this was okay. Yeah, I know the mama would have got would have got busy. You can't tell me she wouldn't have. Look, she look, she kissing on breeze, breeze kissing on her. She worried about Chuck being upstairs. Okay, sure. But she done took that scarf off when she was by that sink and kissed that boy. You ever snuck a boy in your house? I plead defensive. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> I don't got no sense, y'all, tonight. Yo, but what did y'all think about that first scene where the first thing popped off? Where they tried to do that attempted, where they tried to rescue him? What did y'all think of that? Cut off another finger. If Jay don't want to pay, fuck it. His little brother going to pay. Look, man, I ain't signed up for this shit. Yo, 
They didn't even care about the merchandise. They was going ham. They did not care about the merchandise, y'all. I'm just saying. This was bananas. Lucille, Lucille, Lucille. Y'all ready to talk? What up, young boy? What's up? So, yeah. What did y'all? Okay, let me get. I got to get to Lucille and Charles because she played herself. She played herself. She played herself with that whole conversation that she was, I could, I could taste you. All of that. All of that. And then y'all know she lied, y'all. Lucille lied and told, like, she was like, I'm going to um, LaWanda's house for dinner. You know, doing well. You wasn't eating at Smokey's house the way his way her mother smoked. You was not eating near me. You was not eating there. Anywho, I'm just saying. You was not eating there. So don't act like you was. I'm like, she, I said, I couldn't believe this, y'all. It's like the last three scenes between that whole bar scene, Lucille kissing this guy and the stuff she was saying, she still act like she in high school. She even said it out of her own mouth. I'm like, man, you you do not know what you're getting into, Lucille. Because I think he is not going to be like how you imagining him. He's not going to be like that. I think he, he want to hit it and quit it. And especially he wanted, he was saying like that he wanted to have a life for her. But she said she want to have fun. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear that? Is it like um like she's gone forever? Like you know what I'm saying? You want to hear the song cry? Like is she like that right now? I'm just saying. She I don't know, she's just wilding to me. It's that whole that whole thing is just crazy. And then I swear, they got, they just got Marquisha just like an old bird. That's just what she is to me. You doing here, playing these childish games. And now you playing these childish games where this really could go left, where you could put him in some, in some ish with, with, with this dude. And it's like, why? Just so, so you could have a wet coochie. That don't make no sense to me. You just a selfish whore. Just selfish. You don't give a damn. And then you didn't even try to introduce introduce it as a business proposition where you think, okay, we might do business with this guy because he's he could be your inside person. You're going to start it off already where they got beef. Where even if Terry wanted to do business with him, he not going to trust him because he, he going to think you're going to do something with him behind his back. She's dumb. She's She just don't make no sense to me. She's just like, oh. Like, yo. And then, you, and then to top it off, you got, you got Terry out here like this from the five heartbeats. I every night to prove my love. Shh. What you doing with my woman? <laughs> you got, like you got him like that. <laughs> he going crazy. Charles is like that too. You got Charles like that too. So he he fighting Charles fighting and him. This is crazy to me. So yeah. <laughs> Look, she was about to. <laughs> Word, she was about to exactly thinking he was out. She had that bat and everything until he started singing that song, that booby traps. Y'all, did y'all check out his short? That hit that he almost curse. He almost made me curse. It's hilarious, y'all. But check out his short. <laughs> he got the whole remix 
of uh Charles and a uh, Charles singing that song. <laughs> Anywho, moving on. Yeah. This she was waiting for Charles with the bat having breakfast for the yes, exactly. And just because of that, and she actually this is like she done went to the doctor's office got pushed up against the wall and was making out. Now you in the car. So now it looked like she's going to do the do. She already said that's what she wants. She said he tastes good, all of that. So how much you tasting, Lucille? How much you tasting? That's what I want to know. You know, y'all, I forgot to load Charles and Lucille picture. I'm so mad at myself right now. But it don't matter. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But yeah. I just, I don't understand. I did like what Jen did, though. What did y'all think of that? That was cool. She did her thing, Jen, this episode. And then now I like the part where she said she's going to put Kobe's cuffs on Henry. So now that that's going to happen... Are they are they gonna go out? They how can I say this? I just ah, uh, I like the way she did this because this the guy that she that got her inside was the armor car dude. So he knows if he could get off and get get out of this situation, he's going to set up Henrietta and line him up. I hope they that uh, I hope Henrietta don't find out. That Jen's a, a, a popo, but you know she like exotic women. You know he look. Remember how she took out um, wow. But I don't think it's gonna go that far where they get like touchy feely. What y'all think? I don't think it's, she gonna let it go that far. And now she got she's gonna have Brian watching her back this time because you know. He is right. She can get volatile. So, you know, you don't know what you're going to get with her because she's like a loose cannon. Yeah, she's like a loose cannon. So, you don't know what person you're going to get with her. Let me see what the chat is saying. Why is Terry magic <laughs> see imperfection and meets leadership, but can't see what's wrong with right in front of his face? Because you know why? The, you know, she's doing all the smoke and mirrors with it. She throwing it in a circle. He a young boy wet behind the ears getting seduced by an older woman. Okay? Even though technically they said it wasn't really like that in real life. We talking about the fictional character, okay? Lucia pointing fingers and then look, I like the way Terry got at her with that. Yo, that everybody calling her out with her lying. Everybody's calling her out. Cause you sitting here pointing the finger, you need to be pointing that back at yourself. Okay. Shouts out to Tamika's den. Okay. Cause that's a that's a phrase she says a lot, and I like when she says it. Why is Terry's magic? Oh, yeah, I read that one already. Let me see this. I like Jen, too. How is she going to arrest her when she's suspended? No gun or badge. I know both of them there with no gun or badge. But they might give it to that suit dude. You know, the dude that got the, that's the fancy guy that's with Drano? They might try to give him some leads towards that. Because right now she's suspended, but she could be just building this case. So that's what I'm, I, or maybe she, they really going to do something dirty. They might get down and be ready to take her out him, themselves. But I don't think Brian want to make waves with Blaze. So he's trying to be careful with that, but he was ready to do it last week, though. So he, he might end up taking him out. He might end up taking him out. So, yeah. But um, this this part was good too to me. 
crew and your crew should have thought about that before y'all made this bitch ass play. Now the only deal that you got right now is to bring Carter to me and I might help you get out of the loo alive. All right? And that's more than what the fuck you deserve. Now the good book says an eye for an eye, two for a two. What? Bitch. Oh yeah, my homegirl slugger here. You fucked with her and her family. So I'm gonna learn how to first swing. Yo, she knocked the mess out. <laughs> she knocked the mess out of her. I like the fact that she did that. I like this character. Cause she got that tough streak behind her. You think she gonna come back to the A with her, y'all? Do y'all think she gonna come back to the A? I hope she do, but I don't know how that's gonna go because right now they losing foot in there. So you saw that. So we don't know how that's gonna be. But yo, this episode was all right. I ain't gonna find it. It was it it. But the, the Lucille, she kind of pissed me off because you like get out, stay out of my business, stay out of my business. But you in everybody business, okay? Talk to your daughter and stop trying to get, get with Maurice Montclair. Y'all think she slept with him? I know she slept with him. I feel like she did. Stop it. Lucille's worse than Charles. You think you, th I don't think she's worse. I think she just, look, this is how I feel about it. She ain't been with anybody but Charles. This was somebody that she wanted to be with. And she feels like, Maybe I can make this work and have a life with him. But then you say when you kiss him, I just want to have fun. So I guess she like, she don't want to be nobody possession. So I get it. She feel like she says she has no more of her to give. So she's just tired at this point. Tired of all the nonsense. Tired of being the referee. Tired of making make, making sure making ends meet because Charles wasn't doing what he's supposed to be doing. You know, she's just tired. But is now, we asked this question last week. Was Dr. Maurice Montclair buying those uh, clothes? I guess he was. I guess he was. I thought she might have used the credit card, the Sears card. That she was using in Nikki's name. That's what I was thinking. But then, then again, Meech could have been buying her stuff. Because remember, he took her shopping a couple of times, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, she is worse than Charles at this point to me. But I, I'm like, you know how you, I'm playing devil's advocate for this minute. But to me, you lied. You lied to his face when you left. And he already knew you was lying because he read everything. And, you you know, she went down with the ship. That's the type of lie that go down with the ship. You going to say you going out just out to eat there. Say where you really going. And that's what he wanted her to say. And she still was like, stay out of her business. And she diverted the conversation. Yeah. So she's just fed up. Sometimes, you know, it's no... It's no coming back from that. Didn't we just see Kanan get caught with date with that? Yeah. Going through the metal detector. Yeah. This is this is what we were saying last week. They're taking their I don't want to keep seeing Power's formula on this. Don't get me wrong. It was a good episode. But I guess being that they're in the they're in the same timeline, you would be dealing with the same things. So we can. Would you, I mean, would it be, pop? would it, I could give him a pass on it. Would, what about y'all? Yeah, I could give it a pass on it. Just for that. Lucille was all up in Terry. Yeah, talking about Marquisha and our family. And he, when he said that, she was shocked that Nicole told everything. But yo, she's frustrated. And you talking crazy and you not even doing right? You, you, 
you the one that's drifting away like you're going to have a happily ever after with the doctor. And how often are you going to see your kids? Are you going to be like they grown, they can handle their business? Are you going to leave Nikki if this really take place? How's this going to work, Lucille? You ain't think this too? Or yes, you did. That's why you say you just want to have fun. So are you going to just have a fling and go back to Charles? Or is Charles going to hang it up? You know he was put, getting his weight up, pumping iron with his with the water was glistening all over his body. So look, hmm, I'm just saying. She's telling people to stay out of her business. And she lying. I mean, Charles was lying too. He said he was going over there to fix cabinets and stuff. And look at what he was doing. He was getting, you know, blowing her back out. Not even really doing it because he was a two-minute brother, okay? <laughs> Lucille still still lied to Charles. He ain't stupid. He knows. Yeah, he know. Do you think it's gonna be some type of confrontation with them two? Do you think Chuck gonna get some knuckles up? Chuck gonna knuckle up with Maurice Montclair? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, he was like, I'm through. <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what y'all think of this whole thing? Meech already got, let me go back. I don't think, I thought I had more of this stuff. Do you think this is going to be a problem? Because remember, the product was gone. Do you think this is going to be a problem with the truck? Because remember, it was that vet. Remember the vet that they hired? That they hired that was, um, I think it was a vet that was working for them. Because it, it, it was somebody truck, and it, it looked like he happened to go down there. You think that's going to come back and bite them in the tail, y'all? Is it the same guy, the one that was in the fire? Oh, no, he died. That's right. Never mind. Bad theory. <laughs> I think the doc is from the Slap 304 tribe. For real? Somebody else said this theory too, Antoine. Like he might, you know, have a problem with his hands with the ladies. I don't know. I'm just saying, if it is, Charles is going to knuckle up. Meech is going to knuckle up. You know Meech is punching everybody out. So you know he, you, you know if he find out somebody touching on his mama like that, he going to knock the knock him into the middle of next week, Kingdom Come and Timbuktu. <laughs> we got 70 people in the building. Hit the like. Hit the share. Put me up in that algorithm, y'all. And holla at your girl. Ew. Look, he done gave back the gift. Do you think... Do you think he's really going to be, do you think his empire is going to be messed up because of Henrietta? Do you think, like, that's the end of it? I just want to know, like, is that the end of it? If that's going to be his thing, you know? <laughs> Lucille going to give both of them the claps. And Terry going to do the same with his woman. Both trying to love too ain't easy to do, you know? Something happens. Somebody going to get hurt. Somebody going to get left behind. Somebody going to get in their feelings. And we already see Marquisha getting in her feelings. We already see her getting in her feelings. She did, she did some trifling-ish this episode, y'all. Some trifling stuff. She set your mans up like... Like, this could really go sideways for Terry. This could really go sideways for Terry. 
I kid you not. It could really go sideways for him because this dude is a cop. And and you and it's like you playing with it. Like, so that means do y'all think she's capable of jamming Terry up if he actually picks Lawanda? Let me know. Like, uh, like, do you feel like that? Like, if she actually jams him up because she don't get the guy. Terry says, you know, I got to let this work. I need to be around my kids more. Ah, ah, ah. We can't be together. And he says something like that to her. If he says something like that to her, do you think that, um, you know, she's going to take it salty and really do something crazy? Because that right there, she wildin'. She wildin'. I just, uh, uh, that right there, I think she she's bugging out with that. Then this one, I can't believe... I, I know I keep saying I'm a I keep revisiting it, but it's just like yo, I feel like she really playing herself right now. She really playing herself. And this this is gonna this is not gonna go well. This really isn't gonna go well. You think this you think Marquise is capable of jamming Terry up like this with this police? Marquisha will throw Terry under the bus in a heartbeat. Lucille doesn't need to be with either one of them. Just be single and enjoy your life for a while. Word. Because she got to get that break from being a mom. All of that. Get that break from Charles and all of that stuff. Be a mom. Count, you know, talk to your daughter. Build a better relationship with her. And don't chase this man, please. Okay. Yeah, she's a weirdo. She played herself this episode. Trash. Been out of pocket and totally forgot her place a long time ago. Facts. And then she gonna talk about how this whole thing with him looking like he ready to fight over her makes her, you know, who high way. Okay? I'm just saying. I know you gonna go in on her. You know, make sure y'all watch my girl Inga 71. My 411. Make sure y'all subscribe to her channel. And you know, we all going to be back on Monday with the recap with that. So tune in. I'm going to close out this vote. Did y'all scroll up to the top? I changed the vote. I put it up, put up the new one. Scroll up to the top. Let me see how many people voted so far. All right, we got 49 votes. All right, cool, cool, cool. And so far, the rights have won it. They say he was right for saying that, for telling that he's. No. But I feel like that by him minding his disguised business, he did a. To me, I know he. You, I was thinking the same thing. He was right about it, but uh, once again, Terry don't know how to talk to people. Terry approach be all wrong. And that's why things be getting, like, where things be getting misconstrued, where they always end up being in an argument over this. What y'all think with Jen? Y'all think she gonna get her cover blown? Do y'all think that she we might see her get taken out by Henry because you know she got a short fuse? What y'all think? Uh-uh, Trash. Keisha put her cop friend right in Terry's rear view from her here on out. Exactly. This is, and you know what? I think she did it intentionally because that way she he gonna stay with her, and that way she keep the money. All she think about is herself. You will never see her with these kids. Nothing. Henry knows she's a fraud. Oh man. So you think you think she gonna take her out? I'm worried about Jen, y'all. Marquisha is downplaying Terry the way she wants to, to continue to kiss up to her. Yes. He needs to get rid of her. He needs to get rid of her. 
Oh, holy, for real? You think she's like out of here? You think she like walking? Wow. Do you know how many days it takes for a woman to accuse a man of cheating? The answer is one. Now, here you go with this, Mr. Man. But look, he she cheated. She he she, she thought he was cheating with uh sister. What's her name again? I forgot her name, but I know he she thought that she was cheating with her. Remember, Lucia confronted her last season. Do you think we might see another confrontation? She better not. Do you think we might see Charles and Dr. Montclair knuckle up? Look, he might break his hands. And, you know, if he's a surgeon, he ain't going to be no more good. But anywho. Yes, she is jealous of the Wanda. And she going to sell Terry out for attention. And the Wanda to the ghetto always bringing up Marquisha in his face. Yeah. Don't he? She needs to act like it don't even... Um, Exactly. I thought that was going to happen. I thought the mother and her was going to put hands and feet on her, but it didn't happen. Didn't happen. You know, I was, I really thought that was going to happen. Uh-uh. He should have cheated with, with Sister Riley. Like, that's, yeah, Sister Riley. But Sister Riley was like, no, I ain't sleep with him. We just play the guitar and smile together. Okay? <laughs> uh-uh. She showed up looking like a Japanese. <laughs> Charles need to start dating the lady from the church. Yeah, that's what, like Sister Riley. That's who we talking about. Yes, Demarcus, Sister Riley. Mm, she might just do it. She might just do it. She might just do it. I'm just saying, might just do it. Yeah. You know what I forgot to do, y'all? I forgot to show y'all my little promo. I sure did. I don't know how. Through for the recap tonight. Well, look, I forgot to show it, but I had to show it because I, you know, I put my work into that. But anywho, <laughs> what I got going on next on the channel, we will be talking about a friend of the family. I'm going to be joining the ladies. Also, Diary of Detroit Sunday, we're going to be talking about that. Tomorrow, I'm going to come back and do a live and talk about the trailer breakdown for BMF and what's next to come to the episode, make some possible predictions, you know, all of that. Don't forget, Tuesday, we're supposed to be doing Set It Off. I'm doing that with Miss K and... Pretty Girl Loves Trap content, so please tune in for that. We're going to be reviewing Set It Off. And also on Wednesday, we got Mayor Kingstown, and then it starts all over again with BMF, y'all. So please hit the like, hit the subscribe, put me up in that algorithm, y'all, and holla at your girl. Thank you for coming. Let me thank everybody for coming through Suburbia, Stephen Harris, Smiley, smile now, cry late. I like that name. Young Boy 24, Demarcus, Antoine, Monica, Jerry B, Booby Traps, Hope. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you, Inga. Thanks for coming out. God bless y'all and have a good night, y'all. And later.